Hello and welcome back. Today we will go over how to access NBA data in R. We'll make use of a package called Basketball Analyzer and we are going to look at uh, team's box scores and based on team's box scores, some metrics that are calculated such as pace, ratings and four factors. And finally, we'll use them to make some plots and also carry out statistical analysis where we will create a multiple linear regression model for number of wins for a team based on independent variables using four factors. So let's go to Google and make use of RStudio Cloud, which is now called Posit Cloud. So I'll start with the new project. And the first one, which says new RStudio project. Under tools, uh, I'll go to global options and make some changes to make font bigger. And choose a particular theme. Now let's open a window using file, new file, and then first one, R script. So in the first window, I'm going to type all the code. Initially, when I run this, it will give me an error that there's no such package. So I need to first install this by going to the fourth window, Packages, Install. So as you type basket, you'll see basketball, analyzer, select, install. Once this is done, let's run library line. So this package has data from 2017-2018 regular season of NBA. To look at NBA teams, I will use T and add and dollar sign and then team, the second one. So it gives me a list of uh, all the teams starting with Atlanta and then Boston and so on. So this number one is just for reference. So this is the first team, second, third and so on. And this 17 means this is the 17th team 18th and so on this 1 and 17 obviously depends on how much room you have in the window so if i have less room and then when i run this so these numbers may change but each team has a specific number so atlanta is still one boston is still two and so on so totally we have like 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29, 30 teams. So in this package, we have T box data, which can be accessed using function T and then box. So T is uppercase and box is lowercase. So this is teams box scores. Now, suppose I want this for the first team, which is Atlanta. So I can use a square bracket and say I want first team. So one after comma, if you don't put anything, that means you want all the columns in that data set. So basically one is row and after comma, whatever you put, that's columns. So if you run this, it gives you teams box scores for Atlanta Hawks. So they played 82 games and total minutes, total points they scored during 2017-2018 regular season. And they won 24 games out of 82. P2M, two pointers made and two pointers attempted. And then if you divide two pointers made by two pointers attempted, you get percentage. So for example, if you have this number and then 4471, so it calculates a percentage 49.49%. And then you have three pointers made, three pointers attempted, and then the percentage free throws made free throws attempted. Each one of these columns, if you need a detailed explanation, you can put a question mark and say T box. So now in your fourth window, you can see it says team box scores data set, NBA 2017-2018 season. Each column is explained. So GP means games played, PTS is points scored, W is number of wins and so on. Now, instead of 
team one if you want this data for team number two you simply need to go from one to two and run so now you have data for boston celtics now if you want uh, more than one team so let's say i want first up to fourth so one colon four and run so now you have all the data for first four teams atlanta boston brooklyn nets and charlotte now just like a t box there's a data called o box which is opponents box course so we can access this by doing o b o x and if you want this for first team atlanta you can do the same thing one comma and run so basically this data tells us performance of opponents that atlanta played with so if you run this t box and compare so you can see opponents made 2387 two pointers whereas atlanta made only 22 13 so their opponents made more points and that's true for three pointers too so no wonder Atlanta only won 24 games. So similarly, if you want like more than one team, you can do one colon four. And you get opponents box scores for first four teams. Now using these uh, T box and opponent box scores, pace, ratings and four factors can be arrived at. So the function we use is called FOUR and factors. This first one. And then I can say I want T box and let me do this for first two teams, Atlanta and Boston, put a comma. And then here I want opponents box course for same two teams and then comma, all columns. So if we run this, you can see we have data on uh, several different columns. Now these columns are different from what we had seen earlier but they are derived from the data that we have seen earlier. All these numbers like two pointers made, attempted, three pointers, blocks, steals, turnovers, rebounding. So all that is converted into these metrics, which is called pace, ratings and four factors. If you want to get details of each column in four factors, you can put a question mark and say four factors. So you can see each column is explained. So how POSS dot off this column is calculated. So even that formula is available. So this column basically gives number of possessions of each team. Whereas POSS dot DEF is number of possessions of the opponents of each team. Similarly, pace dot OFF is number of possessions per minute played and same thing for def is the pace of opponents and then there are ratings now the key thing here is f1 f2 f3 f4 those four factors uh, which are very critical in basketball games so what is f1 offense so this is effective field goal percentage so this is the offensive first factor and it calculates effective field goal percentage as compared to percentage of two pointers or percentage of three pointers effective field goal percentage basically gives a 50 percent more weightage to three pointers that are made because when a player makes a three pointer they get like 50 percent more points compared to two pointers so f1 off is effective field goal percentage and then you see f1 dot def now this is same effective field goal percentage but this is for the opponents when a team is doing their defense so how much effective field goal percentage they allow the other team so that's what is calculated in f1 dot def so f1 to f4 with off is for the team and then you have the same thing for the team when they are doing defense so F2 is turnovers per position. F3 is capturing rebounding percentage. And F4 captures free throw rate. Now if you look at this data 
and compare Atlanta and Boston Celtics, you'll find that Celtics has an effective field goal percentage of 51.76. And the effective field goal percentage for their opponents that played uh, Celtics, so that number is 49.48. Which means that Celtics had a very strong defense and they did not allow effective field goal percentage to be more than what they were achieving. But if you look at Atlanta, Atlanta had a very high effective field goal percentage, 51.15, but they allowed their opponents to be even better than that. So they did not have a very strong defense. And you can see the results. Celtics had 55 wins, whereas Atlanta had only 24. Now, using this data, we can make some plots. So let's store output of uh, this line in FF by typing this object FF and pointing an arrow towards it. When we run this, you'll see that in the third window, this object FF is created. And it has two observation means two rows and 15 columns. So all these columns are available here. When you click on this, you can look at the data. Now to plot, simply use plot function and uppercase F, F, and then run. So this plot summarizes these metrics that we had seen. So for example, possessions per minute, Atlanta had a higher value compared to Boston. In offensive rating, Boston Celtics uh, had a higher value. And then if you look at four factors, F1, F2, F3, F4 for offense, you can see compared to Atlanta, which is going towards negative direction, Boston was doing better. F2 is turnovers per position and Atlanta did not do very well. They have very high turnovers compared to Boston Celtics and so on. So now instead of uh, first two teams, if you want to compare some specific teams, so I'm going to copy paste this and instead of one colon two, I'm going to use C, open close parenthesis where I can put any number that I'm interested in. So if you go back and uh, run this line three, so we know that two is Celtics, three, four, 5, 6, 6 is Cleveland, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 is Golden State Warriors who were the champions that year. So let's get data for these three. So I'm going to say 2 for Boston, 6 for Cleveland and 10 for Warriors. Same thing here. Now this FF has three observations or three rows. If you click here, you can look at all the data that is available and then we can make a plot. So now you get a similar plot, but now we have F1, F2, F3, F4 values for three teams. So thanks for joining. I will see you soon.